Hello my dear learners, welcome to Teacher Will's tutorial. Our topic for today covers in the subject Life Science, entitled, The Origin of Life. Earth is much older than life. Based on the radioactive decay studies of rocks, it was revealed that Earth is around 4.5 billion years old. 1 billion year older than the oldest fossils. So how did life begin? Where did it come from? There were no witnesses to the origin of life. However, there are possible explanations that attempt different possibilities on how life could have begun, both science and outside the realm of science. Let us explore the different theories and explanations on how did life begin. Theory number one, the extraterrestrial origin. This hypothesis explains that life originated on another planet outside our solar system. In this theory, it says that life was then carried to Earth on a meteorite, or an asteroid and then colonized Earth. However, this hypothesis has not been proven. Theory number two, the panspermia. The theory presumes that the seed of life exists all over the universe and can be propagated through space, and that life on Earth originated from the seeds. Theory number three, the divine creation or special creation theory. Many people believe that life was put on Earth by divine forces. Creation theories are common to many of the world's religions and cultures. In this theory, it says that God created everything including life on Earth. The fourth theory of the origin of life is the origin from non-living matter or spontaneous generation theory. Scientists believe that life arose on Earth from inanimate matter after Earth had cooled. They stated that random events probably produced stable molecules that could self-replicate. Then, natural selection forward changes in the rate of reproduction, which eventually led to the first cell. This is called spontaneous event. It is believed that under these conditions, life may have originated from non-living matter where life started started from chemicals that already existed in the environment. American chemist Stanley Miller performed an experiment that replicated early Earth conditions, together with Harold Urey, he provided proof that amino acids and other organic molecules could be formed. The atmosphere that Miller and Urey introduced into the flasks contained simple molecules that were probably present in the early Earth's atmosphere – hydrogen, carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, nitrogen, ammonia and carbon monoxide. They heated the mixture and zapped it with electrical sparks to simulate lightning. Within days, smelly mixture developed. When the mixture was analyzed, they found that many complex molecules had formed, including some amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. Using slightly different combinations of starting molecules, Miller and other scientists were able to generate amino acids, RNA and DNA molecules, lipids, carbohydrates, and adenosine triphosphate or ATP. There were also experiments made to disprove the spontaneous generation theory, like for example, in the year 1968, an Italian physician named Francesco Reddy conducted an experiment to see if the theory was true. In his experiment, he put a piece of snake meat, a fish, and a slice of veal in flasks, covered these with muslin cloth, and waited to see if maggots would be developed on the meat. He discovered that maggots grow only if this laid their eggs on it. Lazzaro Spallanzani, Louis Pasteur, and John Tyndall performed similar experiments to prove that the spontaneous generation theory was wrong. Spallanzani observed that when meat juices were boiled for three quarters of an hour and then sealed, the result, no life developed. Also, Louis Pasteur in 1860, devised a culture flask which admitted through a curved tube any bacteria contained in the air and settled on their own weight in the curve of the tube. Again, the result, no life appeared in the flask. The biogenetic theory, ancient scientists knew from the common experience of farmers and shepherds that life produced life, that each animal and plant produced its own kind. They saw that earthworms grew out of tiny eggs that had been laid by other worms. Biogenesis is the production of new living organisms. It states that living things are produced from living things only and can be created in no other way. Scientists believe that the first cells were the prokaryotes, organisms whose cells have no nucleus. The first prokaryotes were anaerobic, which means they did not need and could not tolerate free oxygen. And that conclude our lesson for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell for more video updates. See you again next time. Good day.